here's an interesting concept from Andrea. Andrea Miniatures is based in Spain and they're a really well regarded figure and model manufacturer. They make resin and white metal kits. They've got a new range out and it's called Eisenskruz and there's a selection of different German figures in this range. What's fascinating is that they come in different scales. We've got two examples here but they actually go from 1 16th all the way down to 1 72nd scale. So we presume they've been done in a computer and then reproduced at different scales. To give you an idea of what's in the range, we'll start off with this one. This is F001. SEK is the 135th scale variant and it's the Falschmiaga 1940. And we've also been sent the 116th variant. What we'll do is we'll open these boxes and have a look at the quality of the figures. But we also wanted to give you an idea of some of the other, other references in the range put those to one side and work our way through in numerical order. SEK F002 is an SS Sturman in 1940. You can see it there, the box is always attractively produced, you get a scenic base and the box art really helps to get an idea of what the figure is like. This is of course also available at 1 16th scale. Shrink wrapped but with the same artwork and it says model kit for adult collectors this is not a toy and you also get the scenic base in that variant as well in 1 16th scale that's LEK F002 the pose looks attractive and engaging just sort of looking over his shoulder natural and relaxed but also draws the attention next up is EK35 F003 135th scale, of course, again, this is uh, HG Panzer Lieutenant 1943 from the Hermann Goering division. Little details, you get a map as well, clearly, and you can see some little details there. And there's the 116th scale counterpart. This is quite a large kit, uh, Adler 1940 in 116th scale. Obviously, shows a German Luftwaffe pilot being prepared the Battle of Britain and you get a scenic base as well. That's quite an extensive and expensive kit. 1 16th scale. Cast resin and white metal. And finally Fausch Miyaga 1944 this is EK35 F006 or in 1 16th scale it's EK16 F006. Bit more of a relaxed pose, smiling Obviously got the, his uh, unique weapon there, Falschirm Jäger assault rifle. You can see the webbing kit and so on. That should hopefully give you an idea of some of the references. We'll also dig out one that comes in even more scales and show you that. And then we'll take a look inside the box. But you can see this was actually sent to us direct by the manufacturer. You get 1 16th scale, 1 35th, 1 48th scale, and 1 72nd scale as well. It's amazing. It's really precise moulding, it's fantastic. So let's have a look and open another reference and compare and contrast in more detail two references in different scales. What we'll do is we'll open up this one, F001, which is the Falschmjäger. First up in 135th scale. So it's well packaged, you get a painting guide quality control sticker and then the resin cast figure which looks very cleanly cast and a white metal base so there's a close-up of the resin torso and legs all one piece again nicely detailed the head how about helping us out by doing this Some sort of uh, some webbing, water bottle canteen, and so on. Then the white metal components. 
one arm with the submachine gun shouldered. The arm holding the grenade and an entrenching tool and magazine. Here's some detail shots. White metal. Looks pretty cleanly cast. Might be a tiny bit of cleanup. But it looks good. And there's the head. How does the bigger scale production compare? Let's have a look. They've all got a simple painting guide inside. Okay, so in one, the 1 16th scale you've got a resin base. Yeah. Resin moulded figure. Looks well produced. Resin moulded torso. Fits well together, no gaps. That's very cleanly moulded. Excellent. 1 16th scale submachine gun. With the hand moulded integrally. Got some small components, some magazine. Hand with the grenade, binoculars and so on. Then the resin parts, which are mainly the helmet head and some items of webbing and an arm. We'll have a look at those. Yeah, it all looks cleanly cast in grey resin. No bubbles, no air bubbles. There's the head and the arms. It's a great idea to offer the same figure in different scales. It could also provide an interesting showcase of trying to paint different scales. You could maybe buy the same figure and try and paint in different scales and see what the differences are in technique. We're certainly going to try that with one of these references. But these look really interesting. They're well produced, high quality productions. We're sure they'll be a joy to paint. We want to thank Hysterex agents for providing these samples and also Andrea Miniatures who've also provided some samples as well. We hope you've enjoyed the video and don't forget you can get all these kits that you've seen here from Hysterex agents. Thanks for watching and bye. Subscribe for our latest videos.